Good morning. April 22nd, we made it to Wednesday. Welcome, Jackson. What's up? Dylan, good Hello. morning. It is Earth Day. So we're gonna get to a couple things for that in just a minute, but first, today and tomorrow, I'm gonna to be reaching out to everybody in KB and a handful of friends in KA who I've been chatting with. If you're watching this and wanna start a chat with me, I'd love to hear from you, anybody else. Um, but I, we haven't touched base in a while since Easter break. So I wanna see how everybody's doing. Mm -hmm. And then even more importantly, Teacher Appreciation Day is coming up on May 5th. So I'm hoping that in our emails, you can tell me something that you appreciate about Mrs. Cerny, Mrs. Drum, Mrs. Robertson, Mrs. Royski, uh, anybody in the building, truthfully, anybody you appreciate that is a teacher at St. Jude, send me an email and then I'll read it and then that'll be a kind of a fun way to celebrate Teacher Appreciation Day. Okay, back to Earth Day. Back to Earth Day. You'll notice my crown. It's my grass crown. Dylan, do you want to get in tight on it? You'll notice I have grass. I have trees, some flowers. Very nice. Thank you. Jackson didn't want to make a grass crown yesterday. That is accurate. So, to start with the grass crown, I just had a bag from Heinen's. Hey. Rep and Heinen's. I cut off a loop. Okay, so this is what you start with. Well, it looks like that's going to be too big. Do you think? Just slightly. Mm -hmm. So you would cut it and then measure it to size. Mm -hmm. Mom or dad can staple it or glue it or tape it or whatever. And then I went, you can use markers or crayons, whatever you got. Draw some grass, draw some flowers, draw some trees, whatever you'd like. Dandelions might be fun. And then go back and with scissors, very carefully, cut out little notches for the grass. And then where do I run around? Where would a wound today for Earth Day? Nobody's right. going to look at you like you're crazy. Who are, who are you going to see but your family? Okay, so that is your Earth Day grass crown. Have fun. All right. So let's make some Earths. Earths? Earths. All right. I made these yesterday. These are coffee filters that you color with markers. And then I punched a hole in them because I thought they'd be fun to hang. So if you make a lot of these today, if you really like these, you could maybe hang them in your bedroom and it might be fun. Hang them in the kitchen if mom or dad or grandma allows it. Okay, so let's make one of these. Jackson, it is Earth Day. Uh-huh. But would you give Jupiter maybe some yeah, love? Yeah, I feel like some of the other planets kind of feel lonely. I agree, yeah. I agree. Let's give some other planets some love, okay. So get kind of a work surface so that you can color freely and ed get edge to edge. I'm going to work on earth. Earth is mostly water. Some areas are deeper than others. So uh, I'm how, much do... of, how much of earth is water? Oh, 80%? No. What, what is it? 78%? Because like, that's my 70 life. something. I say 80% and the kids go, it's actually 79.9% mom. Why are these markers so hard to get you're off? Weak. Okay. So you don't have to do your most beautiful coloring. So I'm gonna do some deep water here. How is the deep water different from light water? Deep water's darker. Why the heck won't this come off? I don't know, but you're weak. <laughs> That's okay, not bad. that is the same color as my other one. Let's try a different one. Okay, I'm gonna do some more. Oh, this is more shallow water over here. Yeah, okay. uh-huh. I need- We'll throw some reds on there, yeah. I need some land. We're not even gonna draw the continents, bro. I'm not. Can you name me the continents? Oh, North America, South America. That's two. Africa. Uh huh. Eurasia. I'm not counting that as two. I need both <laughs> names. Uh, Antarctica. Uh huh. There's. Uh, where, where do the kangaroos a, live, man? Australia. There you go. Thank you. I didn't know there'd be a quiz. I would have prepped. Okay. And then I need some... I'm not done yet, man. Grass. Make sure to put aside a lot of time. This is very time consuming. It's, it is being rushed because we're rushing it. How it, can you can... see grass from at, at the same place you see just blobs of land? You're not going to see grass. I feel like... Your Jupiter is clearly a piece of work. All right, are you done with Jupiter? Yeah. Okay. 
So now you're gonna take your coffee filter, and again, you don't have to do it edge to edge with the coloring, just do good enough. Mm -hmm. You're going to put it in a bowl of water. Do not let it stay in there a long time. Get it wet, take it out, because all your colors are gonna run. Maybe don't wear your most favorite shirt today until you're done with this activity. Okay, let's do, my hands are all red from Jupiter. Oh, pardon me. Don't move over. Stay right there so I have to reach across you. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Let me give Earth some love. Mm -hmm. Into the too long, too long, too long, too long, too long. Okay, I'm gonna put Earth here. Okay, now. Mine looks so much better. It does look better. Hi, again, thank you for not moving. Okay, so these will dry really quickly. You will have to change your paper towels a couple times. Once they're dry, put a hole in them, hang them up, and enjoy your Earth Day. All right, that's it. Stay tuned for the book. All right, welcome back. We are starting Chapter 3 today. You'll remember the end of Chapter 2. They were kind of unsure. Well, Jack was unsure if they should follow the night, and Annie was all for it, and he finally said, okay, fine. So chapter three, across the bridge. Annie was under the tree looking across the foggy ground. The knight's riding towards the bridge, I think, said Annie. The bridge goes to the castle. Wait, I'll look it up, said Jack. Give me the flashlight. He took the flashlight from her and pulled the castle book out of his pack. He opened it to the page with the leather bookmark. He read the words under the picture of the knight. This is a knight arriving for a castle feast. Knights wore armor when they traveled long and dangerous distances. The armor was very heavy. A helmet alone could weigh up to 40 pounds. Wow, Jack had weighed 40 pounds when he was five years old. So it would be like riding a horse with a five-year-old on your head. Jack pulled out his notebook. He wanted to take notes as he'd done on their dinosaur trip. He wrote heavy head. What else? He turned the pages of the castle book. He found a picture that showed the whole castle and the buildings around it. The knight's crossing the bridge, said Annie. He's going through the gate. He's gone. Jack studied the bridge in the picture he read. A drawbridge crossed the moat. The moat was filled with water to help protect the castle from enemies. Some people believe crocodiles were kept in the moat. Jack wrote in his notebook, crocodiles in moat? Look, said Annie, peering through the mist, a windmill right over there. Oh, all right, here's a picture and then I'll read it. You can see them checking it out. Yeah, there's a windmill in here too, said Jack, pointing at the picture. Look at the real one, Jack, said Annie, not the one in the book. A piercing shriek split the air. Yikes, said Annie. It sounded like it came from that little house over there. She pointed through the fog. There's a little house here, said Jack, studying the picture. He turned the page and read. The hawk house was in the inward, inner ward of the castle. Hawks were trained to hunt other birds and small animals. Jack wrote in his notebook, hawks in hawk house. We must be in the inner ward, said Jack. Listen, whispered Annie. You hear that? Drums, horns. They're coming from the castle. Let's go see. Wait, said Jack. He turned more pages of the book. I want to see what's really going on, Jack. Not what's in the book, said Annie. But look at this, said Jack. He pointed to a picture of a big party. Men were standing by the door, playing drums and horns. He read. Fanfares were played to announce different dishes in a feast. Feasts were held in the great hall. You can look at the book. I'm going to the real feast, said Annie. Wait, said Jack, studying the picture. It showed boys his age carrying trays of food, whole pigs, pies, peacocks with all their feathers. Peacocks, Jack wrote? They eat peacocks? He held up the book to show Annie. Look, I think they eat... Where was she gone again? Jack looked through the fog. He heard the real drums and the real horns. He saw the real hawk house, the real windmill, the real moat. He saw Annie dashing across the real drawbridge 
Then she vanished through the gate leading to the castle. Well, that's the end of the chapter. All right, see you tomorrow.